This is a very rare ant imitator spider. Don't be fooled by his appearance. He will grab you fast. Very fast. He will be watching you with his many eyes. Listen on the Gostrin Macro YouTube channel. Are spiders as dangerous as most people think, or are they just another harmless creature? Spiders tend to get a bad reputation for being scary, but you might be surprised to find that what most people believe about spiders is actually wrong, especially jumping spiders. With more than 5,000 species of spiders in 530 countries. We want to set things straight and bring you some interesting and fun facts about spiders. Here we will uncover the most common false facts about spiders, especially jumping spiders. Ten fun facts of spiders you need to know. Spider fact number one. While many fear spiders, they are vital to a healthy ecosystem because they eat harmful insects, pollinate plants, and are a food source for many small mammals. Spider fact number two. There are around 38,000 species of spiders in the world, but scientists believe there are still just as many that haven't even been discovered yet. Spider fact number three. Spiders are arachnids, not insects because they only have two body segments as opposed to three. Spider fact number four. On average, spiders take about one hour to spin a web. Spider fact number five. Not all spiders spin webs, but all spiders spin silk. Spiders that form webs do so to catch their prey. However, about half of the known spider species actively hunt for their prey. These spiders use silk as a dragline that trails them as they travel, to form the egg sac, or to build a small retreat which they can rest in. But, they do not form true webs. Spider fact number six. When a spider travels it will have four legs on the ground and four legs off of the ground at all times. Spider fact number seven. The majority of spider species live on land. However, there are a few such as the raft spider, which live in or on water. You may even see them running on top of the water's surface. Spider fact number eight. While a spider's muscles are able to pull its legs inward, the only way to extend their legs back out is by pumping a watery liquid through them. This is why we typically see a dead spider's legs curled up. Spider fact number nine. Spiders have between two and six spinnerets at the back of their abdomen. Each one has hundreds of holes, all producing silk. Spider fact number 10. When silk comes out of the spider's spinneret it is initially a liquid, but it hardens as soon as it hits the air. Spiders can have up to seven types of silk glands, each creating a different type of silk. Different types include smooth, sticky, dry, or stretchy silk.
There are some spiders that imitate ants and other insects to prey on them undetected. This is the ant copying spider, Myrmaracanformicaria. Several groups of spiders have evolved to look and behave like various species of ants. This is known as mimicry. There are also spiders that imitate other insects such as flies and wasps. Most mimic spiders belong to several hunting spider families, notably the Salticidae, jumping spiders, Carinidae, sun spiders, Timicidae, flower spiders, Enzodariidae, spotted spiders or ants. Ants are excellent animals to imitate, firstly because there are so many of them and secondly because many animals find them unpleasant or dangerous to eat. By looking like ants, copycat spiders are less likely to be noticed or eaten. A few spiders not only look like ants, but smell like them as well. These spiders are such good mimics that they trick not only animals that eat ants, but they trick the ants as well. By smelling like the ants, the spider is able to enter the ant nest unchallenged and steal their young. suggests, the ladybird mimic intentionally looks like a spotty insect in an attempt to make predators believe it tastes bad. Paraplectanitsa shimensis is a species of spider in the family Araneidae. This species is also part of the order Araneidae. The best way of deception possessed by this spider, predators will avoid it. Can you tell the difference between a spider and a ladybug? The two are practically no different. Take a look, this spider together with a beetle that is almost the same. Explore the leaves looking for a safe place to take shelter. The presence of another spider was sensed by the ladybug. It seemed she had to go save herself.
I think both of them were very surprised. It makes us funny, doesn't it? The jumping spider is still confused. Is this a beetle or some other animal? Finally, they went to avoid each other to save each other. This is the best way for their safety. subscribe, click like, share and comment. Thank you for taking the time. Warm greetings from Gostream Macro YouTube channel. Bye.